Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss how to read from a picture with flat file. So I am going to create a mapping where in which the source is a flat file, a picture with flat file. So let me show you the file layout now. Here is my path location. The directory is in informatica flat file source. I am going to import the flat file called fixer employee. If you see here, I the first row is a header, nothing but the columns, name, job ID, mobile, email and country. And I have four records in the flat file. So this is a fixer width. If you see here, the first five is name and then six then five number is job then comes mobile number then email id then country and the file layout will always be same let's see let's go to the mapping designer and i'm going to import the file fixed employee file here the option the file type is fixed width and here if you want you can change the name of the source definition for the mapping here there is two options one is start import at row also import field name from first line since we have the first line as a header record we should enable this option so it will automatically take the column name from the header header record like the first row so if you see the start import row at 2 if you see the flat file the data actual data residing in starting from the row 2 so if you see the mapping now we will take the data from star from line number from row number 2 the first row will be used as a header record and will be used to build the column for this file here i'm going to define the boundaries as we said the first five is name then job id then mobile then email and then country so we can just define the boundaries like this and just click next here you can be since we already have the information in the header file it's automatically populated you can see here the first column is name and then is job some missing characters i will just update the names then mobile and then email and then country so now we have the file layout the source layout the first is name job mobile email and the country and if you see the length everything is looks good right name is file length job id five character mobile 10 numbers email 17 country and five all are text let's finish and the same table number already exists in my repository so i'm just replacing it okay so now we have the source file ready if you see here if you want to preview the data you just double click and preview preview data give the file path and the select select the file name you can see all the data here so see correct if it is correctly mapped or not you see name job id mobile email country everything is correctly mapped now we will go to target designer and define the target i am going to use the same flat file target here also the same file is already existing in my repository so i am just replacing so i have the ff fixed employee as a target i am going to change the target type as a database so here in this mapping my in source is a flat file and my target is an oracle database I am using the same column name, same as the input file. I am not changing anything here. So I have the same layout as the input file. Only difference is like our target is a table. So I am just uh, regenerating the table. So I am giving the connection uh, parameter. And I'm just regenerating the table to the database. So if you see here, my table got created in the database. Now, next, we'll create the uh, mapping. So we'll go to the mapping designer, and I'm dragging the flat file uh, source definition. So now we have the source and the source codifier, 
and the target is like ff fixed employee one table i'm just dragging all the port to the output uh, target table i'm not using any other transformation any other filter i'm simply using the source code fair transformation so i'm basically reading all the records from the source file and loading into the target table so here is the mapping i'm just saving all the mapping my mapping is valid now so now i'm going to the workflow i already created a workflow for this uh, i believe okay let me create a new one i'm going to create a new workflow called fixer employee one and then i'm going to create a new task for that mapping employee one and I'm selecting the employee one mapping. I'm editing, I'm just verifying all the connections in the session level. So now you know you, uh, we are reading a source file, so we need to give the source file directory name. So, same as like if it was a um, uh, Oracle database, we need we may need to give the connections. So, same as since it is a file, we need to give the directory name directory path so in here my path is like flat file source i'm just copy paste the file here source file directory so always make sure you have the source file directory and the source file name then if you go to target i'm just changing to normal i'm putting truncate uh, table options saving okay it's invalid i need to uh, link the task okay so now i'm going to i have the workflow ready i have the task ready if you see here mapping i have the source source is a, a flat file i i mentioned the file directory file name everything looks good here and the target i mentioned the load type or actual connections also i may need to uh, give the connections the target table connections so now all looks good so i'm just saving the workflow and then starting the workflow so my workflow has started you can see the status succeeded if you see here okay there is applied rows there are total four rows in my file if you see but if you see here only three rows got loaded one is rejected let's see how it is in, in the table so i have a employee one table is my target table and if you see here i got only three records loaded in the table also if you notice there is some truncation if you see the job id some some one digit is missing from here and here some truncation happened here also email not looks good so uh, just remember this is might be uh, one of the common issues everyone are having and i have a solution for this so to correct this uh, issue the truncate data truncation issue we may need to assign some parameter in the section level so just come to the workflow edit this uh, session and if you see mapping we have the go to the source file we have the set file properties so basically we may need to check the uh, source file properties so we are uh, we have selected the fixer wheel go to advanced if you see here we have a couple of uh, options here for all the uh, fix it with flat file we may need to enable this option line sequential file format so if you enable this line sequential file format option it will all always treat the one row as one record and go to the next line it will always treat as a, uh, a new line new line after first row so for fix it with flat file we always make sure to have this option enabled in the session level so I'm just giving line sequential file format enable. I'm not giving any other thing. I'm just okay. I'm going to restart the job again. I'm saving the workflow. I'm just restarting the job again. If you see here, it is succeeded. If you see now, the applied rows four, affected rows four. There is no rejection. So now, if you see the database, you can see all the four four rows in the target database, and also there is no data truncation issues let me see the file what is the yeah 
So we have thousand one two zero zero. Yeah. Now it is both looks same. Like we don't have any all the data got loaded correctly in the target table. So this is one of the basic uh, source definition from the flat file. So I will repeat the steps again. We have uh, a source file called fixed employee and this is a fixed with, with a header and four records in it. We may need to import the file using the source uh, import option, import from file wizard. We can uh, select the file <coughs> and start the uh, import process. Since it is a flat file, we need to correctly define the uh, boundaries assign the column everything and then we'll define the target here my target is in oracle database i created and executed and uh, created the table in the database then i created a mapping for the source i tracked the source source qualifier and uh, i connected to the target uh, table and here my target table is ff fixed employee one and it's in oracle table i created a workflow for this mapping and in the workflow, we need to make sure a couple of things. We need to give the source, uh, since it is a file, we need to give the file directory and the file name correctly here in the session level. Also, go to the set file properties, advanced, we need to give this line sequential file format en enabled. Or else, we, will, we may get file or data truncation error in the uh, table. And then, we may need to... Uh, give the correct connection string for the target table also some of the properties load type and the truncate options so these are the things we need to make sure in the session level and then run the workflow you can see the jobs jobs success successfully completed and here you can see the uh, logs four rows successfully read and four rows got loaded in the target table and if you see the target table we have all the records loaded in the target table from the file So please try to do this from your side and if you have any further question you can just email to me. Thank you for watching.